I wear my GoPro, nigga. It's just hard to listen to. Yo, know, if he makes another power, right? When that some kind of was made of power? Never. I mean, since since Never. my beautiful, yo, know, my beautiful dark fantasy, and it's it's kind of been a slow decline then. Since then, man, and now it's just it's just garbage, man. Mm -hmm. it's just garbage. This ain't like gonna be some rah rah motivational boost. Today, I got a, a film ton of content for you, um, for you, for me, for us. Uh, uh, and on live stream, obstacles are, I really want to get into, like, our, I think it's vital. I think it's vital. Go back to like having more movies on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I didn't say it wouldn't be possible. Uh -oh. I said the way it's currently structured, it just doesn't work. I need like unbroken time to like get shit done. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I wear my GoPro, nigga. Like, you motherfuckers got them. Yo, man. Motherfuckers talk about their chains, man. I got, I got, I got, I got fucking 500 on the motherfucking 500 on my neck. <laughs> Ball this shit now, but like this is because uh, if you watch my if you watch my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, King Keto, uh, you'll see that like I'm doing this cool thing with the stories. I make my stories like a little main vlog, like just the real vlog, but then I got a micro vlog. Man, I got two vlogs. One is on the deal, but the Instagram one is dope, man. It's just like what I've been noticing is like the, the retention. Like people like like you, know, you get sucked into them. You know, you get sucked into them. It's different. You're like, hey, yeah, so hey, I'm some asshole. We're doing this. Okay, now I'm doing this. Well, we have someone edit them and then. Kind of cool. All right, so now we're about to do a, a webinar for my mastermind students. Man, I'm gonna teach them some things. I'm gonna teach them some things. Yer, yer. Got a full house today, man. That's what's up. I got something to teach here that's like real powerful, man. Something that has made us like a lot of money over the last month. Hold up, 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 Cutting right, so I'm trying to burn more calories throughout the day. So I'm trying to get 20,000 steps today. Right. And uh, right now I only have 1,500. So I'm taking this meeting. It's a phone meeting. I'm taking it uh, outside and walk around. So basically, it's called NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. It's basically, you're trying to burn more calories throughout the day, like mm -hmm. not in the gym. Like a lot of y'all, y'all did that. If y'all tracked y'all steps, y'all would lose like a lot of weight. Right. I don't know if I don't get, if it's like I don't get cold as everyone else, but I'm just tougher than everyone else. <laughs> and, I, and I don't mean it to sound arrogant, like I, like I think I'm just better at dealing with pain. I think that's like my, one of my superpowers. Yeah. I never freeze! Mm -hmm. My ability to suffer. I'm really good at suffering. You ever see the Rocky movies? Rocky used to get his fucking ass with Like he wasn't even the best box. like he wasn't the best boxer. He was like just good at taking the pain. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. I wonder if like that about me. Is it cold or am I really just not as cold as everyone else? The guy was calling me right now. Yo, what up, man? Uh, uh, Bezos, y'all might know him from the internet. 
Um, I just helped him out with some things he was trying to do. But I linked him up where he's going to help out my other boy, RSD Derek, too, at the end. And I don't really get nothing out of it, but it's just, I, I just like when you connect people and if they can like help each other. It's just a cool thing to do, man, like for your friends or like people you do work with or business with. And uh, people remember you for that, right? You know, it's like, I, it, like you get the credit for that hookup. Everyone in my life, I try to help them more than they have helped me. So like, Derek's helped me a lot. So like, I feel like, all right, now I'm in the... I'm in the red. I gotta get back in the black. It's called, I call it the re reciprocity bank. Everyone in my life, I wanna have given them more than they've given me, all right? And that's, one is just a cool way to live. Like, wait, there's really the high level people, like people, they're always like, everybody's asking for shit, but if you're the person who's always giving them shit, you're like valuable in that relationship, you know? It's, 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 it, it bodes well for you. Look, like I'm in here all the time lately. <laughs> I, got I didn't give up. I didn't quit. That's the thing. I didn't fucking give up. I was, that's right, man. You never quit. Why do I need a fucking GoPro book bag? Because it's made for that. What else can I do with this dork bag? You know everything your book bag does? Yeah. That's everything it does that, too. I'm skeptical about this adhesive. I'll put this shit right here. I'm doing it. I'm not, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, even so late today, I'm not getting enough protein. All right, so I bought something out of Best Buy. Now I'm about to get something to eat. And we're gonna film some videos. It's hard to listen to, man. Is there a way to watch the whole thing? Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> you got hot, hot sauce? Yeah, I'm both. Let me get both. Cholula. Cholula. So what are your thoughts on Kanye? One of my favorite songs in the world. Like every time I do a speech or whatever, I come out, I always come out with the power. Right. Okay, kind of like, yeah, the majority of the last, I don't know, what is it, 10 years or whatever it was, yeah. I play that song every morning in the shower. Like, it's mm -hmm. one of my favorite songs. And so the, the best show I ever seen before was, like, mind you, I've seen Jay-Z live. I saw James Brown live. James Brown? Right before he died, yeah, right. Like, he was still good. I've seen James Brown live. I've seen Michael Jackson. Live, you know yeah, man. The best performance I ever seen live was Kanye West doing the Glow in the Dark tour. Mm. Like it was so much effort went into like I can't even explain what it did. Like right. I can't even articulate it, but it was like the most creative shit I've ever seen performance wise. And I've seen I've seen them live a few times, man. You know, I went to watch the throne tour, him and Jay. I've seen Jay alone too, but like that Glow in the Dark tour it was like most amazing shit I had ever seen in my life. And I say all this to say, man, you know, during that time and, and before then, you know, when he made most of the half of Blueprint album, which is my favorite Jay-Z album, and Jay-Z's my favorite rapper, right? You know what I'm saying? When he did half of my favorite rapper's favorite album, right. like, I put a lot of work into that shit. Mm -hmm. and a lot of effort went into those, to the, to the craft, to the mm -hmm. actual craft, especially as a musician, like, I appreciate that, right? I play, right. I play keyboard, guitar, you know, I had a record deal with Sony, right? I, I, I produced Problem, but I'm like, I know, I know that's music production I produce for other artists. Like, I don't even know this man. I produce some songs for Chris Brown, it just never came out. Like, right, no way. Yeah, right before he got, right before he got, got uh, uh, beat up, right before he beat up the girl, he got dropped from his um, they were like, Yo, Chris Brown made a bunch of songs off your beat, man. They're gonna be on the next, you think they're gonna be on the next album? Like, oh, that's dope, you know what I'm saying? Um, but then he beat up the girl and then they like scrapped that whole album, yeah, and started yeah, yeah. Over, you know what I'm saying? I say that to say, like, I, I know something about. Uh -huh. The music industry, you know, even though I, I didn't succeed in it, like, mm -hmm. you know, like I know that, like music, though I do know music, like, right. I know music, and I know what's what's putting in a lot of effort into the music, right? Like, and, and most hip hop, they kind of just throw shit together. Right? Mm -hmm. Most of it, and it's the same thing. But like, I need put, like, used to put like, effort. Right. Like, if you listen to the sample that he 
got for power. This is an example. And he listens to everything that was like it's like a it's like an orchestra, man. It's not just slapping together a loop. Yeah. He took this little sample and then like dope. You know, you hear multiple instruments, hella layers, and it's like it's it's, it's it was like orchestrated. It was right. just like a loop like the average rap song, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it was very well put together. And he just ain't doing that shit no more, man. Right. Now back in those days, he still still, still did gimmicky well, shit, right? right. Like, around album time, still did shit to get old. Um, and I get that, right? You gotta get some publicity, you know. Little you know, stuff. Law number five, no law number six. Put attention at all costs. Mm -hmm. The difference between now and then, then he was still cared about the craft. Right. I don't think he gives a fuck about the music. Now. I really mm -hmm. don't. You're such a freaky girl. I love it. You're such a freaky girl, I love it. You're such a freaky girl, I love it. Now he put out the, the last, last summer he put out uh, a bunch of art, a bunch of albums, seven song albums. And aside, I don't know man, I know some people like that Kanye West album, I was a fan. I had like the Nas joint, he threw the album, he produced it, everything with Nas, one of the mm -hmm. greatest rappers ever. And it just sounded like he gave Nas a bunch of throwaway beats, you know. The only shit that was dope, Pusha's shit was dope. Mm -hmm. But he's, they just, they just, they just like microwave shit. They like, it's not, not putting the effort in there, man. It's like, where he did gimmicks to sell music before, but now it's all about the gimmicks, right? It ain't, it ain't, it's all about the fucking ads. And that's what disappoints me. I don't care if you like a politician, I don't like it. You know, to make you a bad person, just means we have different political views. I got friends who work for Bernie Sanders, and I got friends who write for Bright Bar News. Right? Like I'm, a, like I'm, I'm really, like I'm, I got friends on the extremes on both sides. I got friends who are basically party motherfuckers, and I got friends who are basically fucking neo black panthers. What kind of F? Oh no! I don't have to agree with everyone on everything to be friends with them. That's not the criteria. For my friendship, or even for me, like I don't agree with you on everything. To like, mm -hmm. to like a person, but as an artist, I gotta, you gotta be good at what you do. It. I don't, I don't feel like he's good. Anymore. That's my problem. I don't feel like the art is good. Like I don't feel like the art was still good. I feel like, hey man, that shit is fire. Mm -hmm. and, you know, if he makes another power, right? When that some kind was made of power. Never. I mean, since since yeah. my beautiful, yo, know, my beautiful dark fantasy, and it's, it's kind of just been a slow decline then. Since then, man, and now it's just it's just garbage, man. Mm -hmm. It's just garbage, just like huh? like if that last album was, was the artist's first album, you wouldn't have gave him that sort of sort of. Uh, you know, if that was the first time you heard of him, right. you would have said that shit was garbage, man. I know people who, who help mix, like, mix and master, like engineers who help mix and master, like stuff for him on, uh, what was it, uh, late registration and my beautiful dark twisted of fantasy and like, yo, he put so much effort into the music. They, I heard that they mixed, like mixed and mastered, power and stronger and so on. So I was like 30, 40 times. Usually you mix and master a song once. He's like, he just wasn't happy with it. You know, we just know we can do it better. Do better with you, baby. It was a constant, it was a consistent like, effort to make the really best product. You know? mm -hmm. He ain't doing that shit now, man. He's slapping these seven song albums together, just tossing that shit out. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe him and Niles were in the same room when they made that album. I, I know enough about music and I really need to know more and more this happens. It sounded like he just had a bunch of Nas had some songs that I was thinking about putting out. And he gave Sean Kanye the sessions and kind of just made, just put new beats. At the same tempo around those and no, all, so I don't think he broke to those beats. That's what makes me mad. I don't care about the political shit because he's just a fuck. He's, he's a rapper, right? Like I don't give a fuck about what the rappers think about right. politics. You know, my beef is that it, it's all anti stuff. If I was just judging him as a producer, this man, and that's where I held him in the highest regard. That fucking Nas nice album was a disgrace. <laughs> and I will not. I won't be here. Again. It seems short-sighted because I usually spend a lot more money here than that. But I can stop. Me and all my employees can stop coming here too. Yeah, for sure. Right. You know, but I, I'll, I'll pay it. It just it just seems short-sighted. Yeah, Twenty-four. Right? Yeah, man. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll pay it. It just it just seems. Yeah, seem, just that I just want to be clear about the decision that's being made. Like I spent a lot of money here over the years, and, and all my employees have spent a lot of money here too. I have a team, of just 20 of us in the office over there. They're in here. I need that. I need that 20 dollar bill back. That's on the table. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. That was strange. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I, that shit was twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, that shit was less than twenty dollars. I left a twenty dollar bill at the other restaurant for, for when I got twelve. So I'm thinking, okay, at, at, at most it was it'll be thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. That shit was All right. And they know I'll be in there. Just saying, like I'll be bringing mad people in there. Every time I lose, they're playing with the food man since we just like that negativity that holds you back. Ah. Uh. What's up, man? I'm about to go to the gym. Right? Uh, we out of here. Uh, K Rock, uh, he ain't gonna be following the gym. And I don't feel like vlogging in the gym. Mm -hmm. So we out. <laughs>